everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Mel. Thank you so much for joining me today for a new bookshelf tour. I think what I might do is I might actually take you off the tripod and move you around and show you the shelves one by one. I just wanted to also start out by saying that this is a temporary setup, so I'm not sure exactly how long will end up with the books and the bookshelves set out like this. So this is not my entire book collection. This is just mostly a Mel wants a really cool place to film in front of setup. But we are in the process of renovating the room that I'm standing in. So Rowan, who is absolutely amazing, has done all the walls. Um, as you see behind me, he has painted them a beautiful purple because obviously that's my favorite color. And putting skirting boards, done pulled out the carpet done the floors waxed them just he's absolutely amazing he's done an absolutely incredible job and we decided that why not utilize the space while it's still being renovated as we can and so yeah this is my new filming setup the intention is that we will have couches along the walls over here um, and then up above will be bookshelves so these won't these are currently just sort of sitting in the middle of the room <laughs> these won't be here for a super long time but for the interim period I now have a really awesome little setup like I said it's not all of my books I'm not going to do a these are all the books I own thing right now but I'm just going to show you what I have put on these shelves so I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and show you. <laughs> okay, so I'm starting over here. And first of all, on the very top of the shelf, we have a bunch of wedding keepsakes. Um, so this was my, or is my bouquet that I had at, my, at our wedding. And it is made from pages out of Sense and Sensibility. My amazing friend Kate made it for me and yeah I just think it's absolutely gorgeous plus it's you know I can keep it because it's made of paper <laughs> and then we have some lovely cards that everyone gave us we have our little book that people wrote in this was a present from my aunt it is a Highland quack quach I don't know how to say the word. It is a cup of friendship. And then this is the album with all the photos, professional photos that my friend Samantha took. And just a little, we had um, masks for the kids to paint and my friend Michelle's son painted that for us. So that's the top shelf. All right, next shelf down is my Robin Hobb shelf. You may notice that I do not have the Rain Wild Chronicles. I DNF'd them. I absolutely love this series. It is one of my favorite series of all time. And for some reason, despite that, when I tried to read the first book of the Rain Wild Chronicles, I just didn't really think that I really enjoyed it that much. That was quite a while ago though. So I don't know if maybe it just, I don't know. I might try it again at some point because I've heard really good things about it. But the main, I kind of feel like these are the main books, which I, Sure, there is stuff in the Rain Wild Chronicles that's important, but anyway, <laughs> I, yeah, absolutely love them. So I have the other series there, as you can see. Next shelf down, we continue with fantasy, with the exception, oh, well, Alice in Wonderland. So this is my one and only cloth bound classic. I had an intention of collecting them, and my amazing little sister gave me that for my birthday a couple of years ago, but they're not very easy to come by in Tasmania and I'm not 100% sure anymore about that. So it's still something I think I want to do, but there's just so many beautiful editions of different classics, so we'll see. Anyway, behind those, I'll just move that. Behind that is all of our Tolkien stuff. <laughs> so this is my box set that has the three Lord of the Rings books and The Hobbit, and then Rowan's trilogy of The Lord of the Rings and Rowan's copy of The Hobbit and then a copy of The Cimmerillion. Pop that back again. And then moving along, we have just a kind of eclectic selection of stuff. So we have the Genman Bastard series, the King Killer Chronicles, Priory of the Orange Tree and Strange Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. And then the next two shelves down are all of my Terry Pratchett's. So starting with the first two that he ever wrote, The Color of Magic, The Light Fantastic. I have these all in series order. So these ones here, um, Sorcery, Moving Pictures, Interesting Times, The Last Continent and The Unseen Academicals, these are all Rincewind books. Then I have The Witches, so Equal Right with Sisters 
That was a cat trying to jump into another bookshelf. <laughs> Weird Sisters, Witches Abroad, Lords and Ladies, Carpe Jugulum and Masquerade. That's all the witches books. Then we move into the Middle Grade series that's set in the Discord, which is Tiffany Aching series. So that starts with The Wee Free Men, Hatful of Sky, Winter Smith, Shepherd's Crown, I Shall Wear Midnight. Then we have a standalone Middle Grade, which is Eric. Um, and then we have two standalones, Monstrous Regiment and The Truth. And then we go down to the two that are like the religious ones. They're both standalones though, so Small Gods and Pyramids. Then we have Death series, so we have Mort, Ripperman, Soul Music, Hogfather. And then we have the Watch series, which is Guards, Guards. Um, also should have been at Armist, but Rowan's reading that. And then we have Feet of Clay, Jingo, The Fifth Elephant, Night Watch, Snuff, and Thud. And then we have the Voiced Mon Moist Von Lickwick books, which is, oh, that's out of order. It should be Going Postal, uh, Raising, no, Going Postal, Making Money, and Raising Steam. Then we have Good Omens, written by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. All right, so that is the first bookshelf. And then we have the top of this bookshelf, which has a book hidden there because I have to give it to my friend but I wanted to keep it out of the way. And then we have two pictures painted by my mum. So Cradle Mountain in the middle of Tasmania. And that's the back of my mum's house. <laughs> and then this bookshelf is a much more kind of random collection of stuff. So we have some historical fiction, some contemporary fiction, some science fiction, some fantasy, and some literary fiction. So starting over here, we have my Heartstopper collection. So you guys may have seen recently in my wrap up for June that I have the first two volumes is I have the TV tie-in and the original, I mean not the original edition, but the original with the drawings cover. Then obviously two, three, and four. Those are the only Alice Osmond's books that I own, so they are there. <laughs> this shelf is kind of, I mean, they're all kind of favorites, everything that's in here. Yeah. <laughs> So that's why we have Heartstopper and then next to that we have The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue because this is one of my favourite books of all time. So The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue and then my other video Schwab, it just felt like the right thing to do to put it next to Addie even though I haven't read it yet so I have Gallant. Then we have After Story by Larissa Barrent. This is a literary fiction and then um, all of these along here are literary fiction. So The Dictionary of Lost Words, The Yield, Hamnet, Where the Cruel Dad Sing, the Time Traveler's Wife and Little Fires Everywhere and I enjoyed all of these books a lot. And then this section here are all of my Greek mythology retellings. So we have Circe by Madeline Miller, The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, Law by Alexander Bracken, Ariadne by Jennifer Saint, Electra by Jennifer Saint and The Woman of Troy by Pat Barker. I have read these two, this one and this one. I haven't, haven't read those two. So there you go. All right, next shelf down, we move back into fantasy. So we have Ninth House by Lee Bardugo, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, Crooked Kingdom with this absolutely beautiful edition by Lee Bardugo. And then we move into Sarah J Mass. So we have Court of Souls and Roses, which includes the little mini novella, which is Court of Frost and Starlight. And then the newer one, Court of Silver Flames. And then House of, uh, the two Crescent City books, House of Earth and Blood and House, House of Sky and Breath. Moving down here, we have mostly a historical mystery series. So this is a series you would have heard me talk about a lot on my channel because it's one of my favourite series of all times as well. And it is the Mary Russell series, which is a retelling of Sherlock Holmes. So at the first book, The Beekeeper's Apprentice, A Monstrous, this is by Laurie Acking, A Monstrous Regiment of Women, A little, a Letter of Mary, The Moor, O Jerusalem, Justice Hall, The Game, Locked Rooms, The Language of Bees, The God of the Hive, Pirate King, Garment of Shadows, Dreaming Spies, The Murder of Mary Russell, Island of the Mad, Riviera Gold, and Mary Russell's War. And then totally out of place, seemingly, because we go straight from historical fiction to young adult contemporary. But then we have all of my John Green books. So uh, that's not a – well, all of his young adult contemporary fiction. We do actually have the Anthropocene review, but it is not in oh, here. Yeah, it's on my TBR pile. <laughs> uh, it's on Rowan's TBR pile, if you could hear that. So we have Paper Towns, The Fault in Our Stars, An Abundance of Catherines, Looking for Alaska, and Turtles All the Way Down. I've read all of these. My favourite is Turtles All the Way Down. And then the next shelf is a very random selection of things. So we start out with Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. So as you would have seen, we have – Good Omens over here by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. So then we swap over, we'll go straight along to Neil Gaiman again. Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. Fragile Things, which is a short 
a series of short stories by Neil Gaiman and then American Gods also by Neil Gaiman. Then we move into some science fiction so we have The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy which is all of the volumes by Douglas Adams. Then we have The Long Dark Tea Time of the Soul, Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency and The Salmon of Doubt all by Douglas Adams as well. And then we have a series of mostly contemporary. So we have Terra Nullius by Claire G. Coleman, which I have not read yet and what we'll be reading soon. The Road Chip by Beth O'Leary, Too Much Lip by Melissa Lukashenko, Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert, Queenie by Candice Cardi Williams, Amal Unbound by Aisha Saeed, The Million Pieces of Nina Gill by Emma Smith Barton, I'm the Mostly Devastated by Sophie Gonzalez, I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson, Jasper Jones by Craig Sylvie and Honeybee by Craig Sylvie. And Rowan just said I might want to check my framing and thank you Rowan. You can also turn the screen up if you want. Um, <laughs> I should have been looking at what I was doing but anyway you get the idea. You can see what the books are. Um, so yeah that is the shelf tour of the shelves that are currently in this room. Anyway um that's it from me and my bookshelves today. Comment below what you thought of this book tour. Did I do an okay job? Is this something that you enjoyed? Should I do this sort of thing again? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below uh, any books that really stuck out at you that you would you think I should read or that you, you really enjoyed yourself. If you'd like to leave me a comment but you don't know what then leave me a stack of books emoji because we have a bunch of books. All of my social media details are listed in the description below so if you'd like to go and follow me on any of those other platforms please feel free to do so. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, like I said, thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.